with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Well, today we wear the purple for St. Erho, tomorrow the green for St. Patrick, and today we received a little bit of precip. Tomorrow should be gorgeous and sunny. Today's snow totals primarily affected northern Minnesota, about 3.5 inches for International Falls, 2.3 towards Ely, and then we go down the line to Iron Junction there, just north of Forbes where I got married, almost 2 inches. Hermantown about a half inch, Cass Lake about a half inch there as well. So this wasn't such a big go around, but another go around could be coming around by Wednesday and we'll talk more about the totals possible with that one here in just a little bit. Right now we take a look of course at the current conditions. Live picture downtown Duluth shows the sun breaking out after this morning's low pressure system. And right now we have 32 degrees to report at the airport. Westerly winds going 16 miles per hour and our air pressure is coming up 1017 millibars. The low is going, a high is coming, a high that will keep us on the sunny side probably through Tuesday come Wednesday though back towards the cloudy side of life. Right now what are we getting? A little bit of light snow still continuing parts of the upper peninsula and mixing in with a little bit of rain shower activity in northwestern Wisconsin and the south shore as you can see right over the Ashland area currently. But that should fade away here tonight and things will start to clear up even in this neck of the woods like they are already in northwestern Minnesota. So we go from the now to what's coming up for Tuesday. The higher pressure settling in helps push away the low pressure system and Tuesday should be gorgeous, clear to partly cloudy sky, but don't let it trick you. As early as Wednesday, a Colorado low could come to call, pushing back in clouds and a 70 to 80% chance for a rain-snow mix for Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe even early Friday morning. Too early right now, frankly, to hammer out snow totals because we could go all over the board and reality will change before the system gets here on Wednesday. But at this stage of the game, it looks like a couple of inches could stick, not only in northern Minnesota, but around the south shore as well. So this one's a little bit more oomph packed, we could say, than the one that we just got rid of here today. We'll talk, of course, more about it as we track it, getting closer to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday morning. Right now, will we take a look at the forecast for tonight, where Minnesota low temps could go as cool as 10 inland to 20 by the lake with a mostly cloudy sky as we shake off the preset that we did indeed receive this morning. But again, a couple of holes punched in the clouds here and there like we're seeing on those live pictures. Into Wisconsin and Michigan, low temps there, upper teens. Drizzle, if you're still getting it, should end in a couple of hours and start to clear up overnight. Now for tomorrow in Wisconsin and Michigan, then look for a clear to partly cloudy sky up above you with high temps running 33 to 37, reasonably close to the normal of 34. Into Minnesota, Range of temperatures could be 27 near the border to about 34 degrees down around Cloquet, Barna, Moose Lake, places like that. All right, so what do we do temperature-wise for the rest of the week? Well, we don't really get that warm. About 24 to 40 as the week unfolds. 70% chance for the mix on Wednesday. 80% chance for this mix on Thursday. Could leave us something to shovel by Friday morning, Kristen and Anthony. But then for the weekend, it clears up. It gets sunny. And 30 to 35 degrees is at least close to normal, if not another one of those really mild weekends like we had a couple weeks ago where people thought maybe spring was coming. <laughs> you know, oh, But that happens around here every year, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. surprise. Yeah, <laughs> still in winter. Here comes the snow. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Dave.